Hey guys, welcome to another episode of my Football Manager 2013 series. This episode we take on Manchester City at the City of Manchester Stadium. The starting line for us today is Petr Cech. In defence we've got Asbel Quaita, David Luiz, Cahill and Puyol. Centre of midfield we've got Sissoko and Lampard. Attack midfield we've got Hazard, Oscar and Witzel. And up front we've got Lorienté as a lone striker. On the bench for us we've got Ross Turnbull, Ashley Cole, Ivanovic, Kakuta, Joel Rodriguez, Falcao and Rondon. Uh, Man City doing really well in the league uh, this season they're currently first and with the fact that it's so close right now in terms of uh, one minute you're second one minute you're third and then you're first because everyone's got gaming hands on each other it's important that we get a win today but um, for the team talk Loriente looks delighted Hazard, Oscar, Asbel Quater and Poyal all look happy so good uh, pre-match team talk whoa okay just as I've noticed before we start this they got Nazri at 88% company at 86% and Micon at 88% so condition rating wise my team my starting lineup is a lot better condition than than theirs right now hopefully that'll uh, play a factor in this match whether or not it will couldn't tell you but hopefully it will uh, try my best to keep my players 100% as possible as I can but this is Hazard he's in the box oh, I hit the post Hazard with the rebound got the goal great start fantastic start and with that we move up to second very good start for this match Sissoko's pass well through ball Hazard got the shot hit the post thankfully he got to the rebound and tapped in with his other foot awesome I'm hoping we can keep the likes of Aguera uh, Yaya Torre Fellaini quiet this match because they're definitely game changers without a doubt this is Aguero though shot I think hit the post whether or not Czech got a finger to it I'm not sure but he's cleared it to Hazard Whew. okay we've got two minutes left of extra time for the first half right that's the first half Man City are having more opportunities than us right now but on average rating we are beating them um, they've brought Cliche off for Tom Huddleston so that for me would imply that they're gonna add somebody to their midfield oh, not one of our players has responded come on right Poyo looks delighted Witzel looks delighted okay only two players to respond we're averaging about 7.0 ratings right now, which is okay as long as we win this match. Hopefully, uh, you know, it won't go down the pan now. This Dezeko, though, header hit the post. Fell to Yaya Torre, though. Now Fellaini, Nasri. Lampard intercepts, so it's fell to Witzel to Loriente. Lampard. Lampard battling for it there, but I think we lost possession. This is Nasri. Van Torre back to Nazri. Cross it to Aguera. Aguera with a goal. You can't let Aguera have the ball when he's that close to the goal because he'll just score all day. And with that, we drop down a fifth. Shit. Cahill's missed header by the looks of it. Gave Aguera the opportunity. Damn. Right. We'll make a substitute now. We'll get Loriente off and get Falcao on. Falcao, in my opinion, has a good uh, record against Man City for me anyway. Um, then we'll move Witzel back into the uh, right centre of midfield. Put Oscar on the attacking right and get Lampard off for Rondon. So we'll have Rondon in the centre of the attacking midfield where we normally have Mata. Shane Matter suspended for this match could really do with him for matches like this right Falk has flagged offside already this is Nazri with the throw and it's fell to Poyol hooves it up trying to get to Falk out Huddleston those collected it to Walker Mike on Aguero's gotten to the end of it still Aguero Nazri with the shot oh shit Good run of play uh, 
Aguero ran in past two defenders. Good little chip cross to Nasri. Nasri with the finish. Heart goal kick. Torres, Torres headed to. Oh, it's going so quick. Nasri again though. Fuck man. It's really going peak Tong right now. Really peak Tong. Dzeko's little pass to Torre. Back to Dzeko. Nasri's first touch was a smashing hit. Damn. Oh god, he's picked Sissoko's picked up an injury. Great. So we basically lost this match and one of my key players has been injured. Awesome. Right. Got two minutes extra time, but I think they've won this. Aguera. Yeah, they won this. Fuck! Not happy with that. Right, let's have a look at these stats. Match stats. Uh, we had 13 opportunities, 3 on target, which is very poor. Uh, they had 3 click chances, we had 2. They had 6% possession more than us. Uh, equal in terms of pass completion. We beat them by 4% in tackles, 1. Headers, 1. We beat them by 8%. Uh, no cards in this match. The average rating for a player for them was 7.46. And the average rating for a player for us was 6.87. Best player for them today, Nasri, 9.0 rating and got two goals. Aguero had a good game, 8.1 rating and got a goal. Uh, best player for us was 7.5, and that was Hazard, who got a goal, which I'm not happy with this performance. Hopefully, uh, that will light the fires underneath players for the next match. But uh, Arsenal, 4 0 win against West Ham. Birmingham lost 2 1 to Aston Villa. Uh, team talk messages. Right, okay. Nazri had a really good game. Yes, that is true. Okay. Our next match is against Arsenal. Just look at these two messages. Okay, our next match is against Arsenal. Got six day rest. So have a look at the league. Uh, with that loss, we've fallen down to fifth in the league. Uh, we're currently five points behind the leaders, Man City. Um, shit. Really, are done with winning that game. That would have uh, would have been good. But right now, in terms of uh, the league, you got Man City on 29, Man United on 28, Arsenal 26, Tottenham 26. We're on 24. Liverpool and Stoke are on 22. So it's quite an open uh, race still so far for the Premiership. But that's all for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. If you did, please leave a like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys for the game against Arsenal.